So the story we heard from Dikla, our beloved friend, uh, is a story of many other Israelis. It's not only one family, sorry, it's not only one family that lost their child, father, cousin, a brother, it's many other families. And it's not only this week. Unfortunately, it's something that we uh, share in our reality in Israel is almost every week, almost every year, since uh, the establishment of the State of Israel and even earlier than that. And you wonder, and in Israel, you're asking yourself why, why it's happening, why it's happening again and again, what we're doing wrong or what we can do different to change this reality. We, none of us want to live in this reality of the terror attacks. None of us want to live in a reality when you, every other day or week or month, you're losing someone. And for us as a nation, when we lose someone, even if it's not one of our family member, it still feels like we lost someone that is a member of our family. Because we all get united in those kind of moments, unfortunately, in those kind of moments. And when I asked myself, when I heard the news, why? The only answer I had, it's only because there's other nations, or other people, other group of people that believe that I should not be exist, that I believe that I should not live in the state of Israel, that I really believe that my being alive, or those other Jews being alive in the state of Israel, gives them something, or bother their life, or affect their religion, or affect whatever they choose to do. Well, we actually, as this, this time said, and some of you are holding, we support this. We support living together or in two different nations or whatever you believe in, but we truly believe and truly hoping in, the, in our hearts and minds that one day we all live in peace and one day we'll have quiet. And hopefully, this last of them, we hope that we'll have a year or even a month quiet, you know, we're not hearing those kind of news. Uh, and as an Israeli living in America for the last three years, I so, so have a strong feeling to declare it's so hard to be away when you hear those kind of news, when you can't really be there and support your family and take part of the, the ceremony. And, and I think she's also very grateful that she has this community here supporting and hugging her and being here with her. So thank you for coming and showing your solidarity.